The platypus is definitely a strange looking animal, but its odd appearance is nothing compared to deep sea fish, ugly dogs, and every single human from the 90s. And really, its looks aren't even the craziest thing about it. Try not to mock this weirdo, the platypus makes hormones and proteins that can save people's lives, maybe even yours. Also, there's a perfectly good reason for its strange appearance. Scientists have studied the duckbill platypus's DNA and determined that it shares its genes with reptiles, birds, and mammals. Maybe that's why the platypus looks like a collection of body parts from totally different animals stuck together. But like we said, this creature is actually even crazier than it looks. It's a mammal that lays eggs, sweats milk, and hunts using electricity. So how does a platypus sweat milk? And how can it save your life? If you want to find a platypus, it's not easy. They live in only one small part of the world, freshwater areas that flow throughout Tasmania and the eastern coast of Australia. You might want to lure it with treats. Platypuses are carnivores who eat insect larvae, worms, and freshwater shrimp. But why would you want to find one? What's so great about them? Well, for one, they're very friendly. While Australian law protects platypuses from being kept as pets, they're very social with humans who keep them in sanctuaries and zoos. Another reason you might want to get to know a platypus is that their milk or their venom could save your life. In fact, platypus milk could end up saving us all. Australian scientists have discovered that platypus milk has incredible antibiotic powers. This finding could lead to cures for drug-resistant superbugs and save humanity from a global plague. So, how do you get some? Well, in keeping with the platypus's general modus operandi, the way its milk comes in is, of course, weird. While the females have mammary glands, they do not have nipples. Platypus mothers nurse their young through pores in their stomach. The platypus milk collects in pools on the mother's abdomen, and the babies lap it up. Another way platypuses can help humans is with their venom. It's powerful stuff. Platypus venom can kill small animals, so keep your little dog away from them. And while it can't kill people, it is excruciatingly painful. Researchers have discovered that platypus venom can help us develop new kinds of diabetes treatments. The males keep venom in spurs attached to their hind feet. The spurs are on their feet year-round, but the venom is usually only present during mating season. The males typically don't use their venom to kill prey or defend themselves against their predators, which include dogs, owls, and foxes. They use it to fight other males for a lady platypus's affection. Now for the weird part. Platypuses use electricity in their duck-like bills to get around. There are electroreceptors in their bills that detect the tiny electric signals that are generated by the nerves and hearts of their prey. When it's time to eat what they've hunted, platypuses don't have stomachs. Their gullets connect directly to their intestines. Instead of teeth, they have grinding pads, and they grind their food so fine, it doesn't need to be digested by stomach acids. Now for the interactive portion of our video. Can you guess if the platypus has weird feet? Drumroll. Yes, they do. While their webbed feet work well underwater, they're practically useless on land. The webbing makes it very hard for the platypus to walk on land, so it has to walk on its knuckles. Not an easy task. The platypus spends 30% more energy walking on land than it does moving in the water. Walking on its knuckles, sweating milk, and storing venom in its spurs? That's what makes the platypus a crazy creature.